Good morning everyone, it's the 2nd of the 6th 2012 at 11.30am. Thought I'd do a video with this large significant system that's currently affecting Queensland and New South Wales. And the last 24 hour rainfall totals has been a few places just to the southwest of Emerald which have cracked 100 mil. Other areas over the central parts of inland Queensland have reached between 50 and 100. Um, they are limited to, you can see the central parts of Queensland, there's a few isolated pockets around Mackay or just to the south of Mackay as well and of course down into the far southeast corner um, you know two and three day accumulation totals there would be edging 100 mil up around Mount Tambourine and Springwood, Springbrook sorry. Um, we can expect further moderate to heavy falls over a majority of eastern parts of Queensland. I'll move on to the um, weather zone Queensland current radar some areas of interest, there is some moderate rainfall on the Charleville radar at the moment. This is sliding to the south, you can see there. Also stretching up through Emerald and quite a decent drop through Injun affecting Roma. This rainfall is spreading south and southeast. And it will continue to do so throughout today. You can also see storms starting to fire up, well not storms yet, but cells starting to fire up around Longreach. Along the tropical coast you've also got vast amounts of moisture both coming in from the ocean on radar and it's also sliding towards the southeast along the coastal areas. We've identified a, a suspect area for activity around the Mackay district coastline between Bowen and Yapoon. Uh, computer models suggest, which you can see that now starting to come in on shore on the, um, on the radar, that we could have some possible intense cells in there with some um, damaging winds. The profile looks similar to uh, a few weekends ago, last weekend or whenever it was, when the, that wind gust, isolated wind gust hit um, rural view in Mackay. So I've identified a little area there. We'll continue to try and keep identifying areas. Over uh, SEQ, you can see the showers being cranked in um, from, from onshore. Let's zoom into the Emerald radar now, and you can see the area through Springshore, Sapphire, Rolleston, Quite an intense area of rainfall through that area. All right, stretching down in through that way there like that. That's being fed in from the ocean. We'll move in to SEQ, and you can see just off the Tweed Coast, a cell got quite intense there just recently. These are the sort of things we'll be keeping an eye on in SEQ for heavy rainfall. All right, as these winds crank in from offshore, meet different levels in the upper level winds, and then start to shift in a different direction, okay? So that's when you can get uh, heavy rainfall development. This is the shear at 8.50 at 1pm today for Queensland. What you can see on this chart is this massive amount of moisture being brought in over the ocean from Townsville, right in through Emerald, Longreach, Charleville, St George, in over SEQ as well. All right, So a lot of moisture being cranked in over Queensland at the moment. This massive surface trough here extends through the central parts. And there's also an upper level system, which I'll now show you thanks to Weather Zone. This is the water vapour loop for the past 12 hours. It shows you the big circulation. This is an upper level low, cold air sitting over here over western Queensland. It flicks off cold air towards the coast in its rotation like that. It meets warm, moist air coming in off the Pacific Ocean and generates rain, showers and thunderstorms. Okay. This upper level system is for, well, it's stationary at the moment. You can see it's not going anywhere. So we continue to crank these through here. It is forecast to extend south across the um, New South Wales area tomorrow. However, we'll still have instability over Queensland both on Sunday and into early Monday as it, as it edges towards the, uh, the coast. This is the instability charts today, the lifted index, where it shows you instability or lift in the atmosphere. You can see that around Mackay and Rockhampton regions, in, in between there out to Emerald, there is quite a fair bit of amount, amount of instability. Good lifted index, all right? So I'll be keeping a close eye out on these. That's why I've issued a severe uh, weather watch or storm watch for over anywhere from Richmond, east of Longreach, Charleville to St George in this entire area. Darling Downs and SEQ is a little bit void of that at the moment, however, uh, we could do, still expect some heavy rainfall in that area, extending down into New South Wales, northern New South Wales as well, through the Moree area. 
This is the 24 hour rainfall total outlook from Weather Zone. This is the BOM 3 day T access ST model um, out to 10 o'clock tonight. You can see over in parts of inland Queensland there are small pockets of possibly 100 millimetres, all right, in this zone here in the red. Also along the SEQ coast from Gympie South to say Lismore along the coastline from these showers coming in and then some pretty good rainfall from say Mackay South as well. All right, so you can see on that model just how, how broad the rainfall area is and where these totals, these higher totals are most likely. It's not limited to there. You can see an area, a patch of light blue, which is around Emerald, so that's not quite right, but pretty much what I said, anywhere east of that line there and into northeast New, or northern New South Wales, you can see that too cranking up the rainfall through northern New South Wales. Uh, we'll continue to update the, um, the situation. Um, there's probably not much more I can say. I can drop a plot in here actually at one o'clock. I can show you a few atmospheric plots. Let's drop one at Emerald and I'll show you a few key features on this Emerald. You can see the winds are coming from the northwest there at Emerald. All right, so that's the way the storms will be travelling towards the southeast. You can see there's lift in the atmosphere, the separation between the two lines. All right, that's fairly reasonable in the mid-level, so you could get some heavy rain and thunderstorms with that amount of lift. Um, that's around the Emerald region at one o'clock. If you go into SEQ here and have a look, let's drop a plot into SEQ and have a look. You can see the winds are turning through the atmosphere. Now we just saw that cell off Tweed Coast come in from the east. As it grows with height, it met some different level winds and pulled it to the south. All right, if these cells and these storms form over land a bit further, let's say over the Gold Coast or Brisbane area, you can get some enhanced heavy rainfall. We know what that's all about. Um, but given it's, it is May, it's, pretty, it's a pretty significant system for May, we don't have as much lift in the atmosphere as we would in summertime. Uh, there's still a threat of heavy rain and possible flash flooding from this though. That's SE, SE Coast. SEQ coast. Inland over the downs, let's say Dolby, is a big Triple M concert over Dolby tonight, or today, tonight. You can see the winds are wrapping in from the northeast. Plenty of moisture being fed in and then being steered towards the southeast, all right? The two red lines are moisture. It's saturated all the way. Not a lot of lift there, but it doesn't matter. You've still got rain and possibly heavy to moderate falls out of that system. That's for Dolby, unfortunately, for you. Um, I think it's Triple J concert there at, uh, at Dolby. Further out towards, um, let's go the lifted index, we'll go out towards Longreach. Okay, so you've still got showers and possible storms there, the moisture starting to dry out around Longreach as the dry line or the dry air comes through from the west. Um, down in towards Moree, you also have quite a large amount of moisture in the atmosphere. The winds are coming in, being fed in from the northeast and wrapping back from the northwest, which means the storms will track either south or southeast, the rain area as well, sorry, not just storms. So yeah, there's the overview. Now Mackay, this is where we put this little warning out for Mackay. There was some decent turning in these winds here, coming onshore, wrapping back around. I've replotted this line here and it is showing more instability over in the Mackay district's coast which can give you those little enhanced cells. Now, given the, the moisture profile and the turning profile, you can get quite a dump of rain and some really strong outflow winds on the ground from these little cells, all right? Uh, we don't know what hit rural view last week. It was not very wide. It could have been a little funnel. It could have been a little weak gustnado, as they're called. Um, but in most people's terms, in the media terms, they call that a mini tornado, unfortunately. There are other terms for it. All right, I'll leave you at that, and we'll have one last look at the Queensland radar. You can see it's pretty significant. We do expect storms to fire up anywhere around this area here, okay? They are starting on the long reach radar, and you can see there's quite a vast amount of rainfalls around the place. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and share uh, Higgins Storm Chasing. We're trying to make it to grow, get it to grow further. Um, unfortunately, Facebook has slapped potential costs now on our newsfeed. If we are to promote our newsfeed out to our full 22,000 people, it costs $110 per status update to reach all of you. 
The only way we can overcome that is if everyone just either clicks like or share and it has a natural um, spread rate on newsfeed by itself. So if I can ask you all to do that, because we certainly can't afford to pay that sort of amount of money on each status update at all. All right, thanks for watching.